Hi friends, this is Vali with Vali Art and today I'm here with you uh, to share how I make my um, envelope journals. Um, this is a very nice idea, especially because you don't have to uh, sew um, the pages and you can make it in different uh, sizes depending on uh, which envelopes you buy. Uh, in my case, I used um, these from uh, Dollar, Dollar General. They came 80 in the box and I think they were um, $1.50. And um, you can see the measures here. So um, this is very easy and um, I usually um, prepare these journals uh, to give away to uh, friends and uh, people uh, that I know um, as gifts. So uh, the only thing you have to do is you have to fold uh, this um, triangular uh, flap to the back of the envelope. And you do that with um, all the amount of pages that you want to include in the journal. I usually go uh, for uh, maybe 10 or uh, 12 pages. So what you will do is you will insert this here in the other envelope. And you have to make sure that you get up to the line in here. And uh, then you put some glue in here, just in the corner, because I'm gonna explain to you that you can uh, do something else with each envelope and uh, have a mer um, multiple purpose. So like this, you insert all the envelopes that you want to use as pages. So just uh, for the purpose of uh, showing you, I'm gonna do three or four. Always up to the line, and then you flip it. And again, we have these to the back, and that we insert in the um, previous envelope and again we make sure it's up to the line and you just glue it a little bit here so let's say uh, we put 10 of these together or 9 or however um, how many you want so once you finish putting all together it's gonna look like, the, like this. The front, you're gonna have the flap in here uh, from the first envelope. And that's how you're gonna bind it. You're gonna just fold it in here and glue it in here. And you're gonna have the booklet bind it. So that's why I'm saying there is no need to sew. Um, so another uh, use if you want to maximize uh, the journal is that you can cut the top of here in each page or some of the pages and um, you can build pockets. So you are going to have the 10 pages and how uh, many pockets you want in your journal. So now I'm going to show you how I completed mine. So this is uh, a journal that I uh, just finished. And um, this, um, I prepared the cover and it's with um, Manila, um, I think it's called Manila folder. So that's how I did the cover because I wanted something sturdy and I put the name of uh, the person that it's gonna go to and I cut uh, her name with um, the, the small CISIC machine. And then um, these uh, flowers here are decoupaged. Um, this is um, some um, paper from uh, the dollar store. Um, so I used it to decoupage in the front and in the back. And um, I used this um, 
elastics uh, to hold uh, the insert um, in the journal. So this you can get it at the dollar store too. And it comes with these four different colors. So when you open it, um, you can fill it in obviously with whatever you want, but I filled it in with something that I like. I knew that the person that I'm going to give it to uh, likes. So uh, in my case, just to uh, make the um, back of the spine of uh, the journal uh, more sturdy, um, once I finished it, I added some ribbon in there and I added it with glue. So it's... You can see it from the front and the back. So this is more sturdy. So I um, created some uh, tags that uh, went inside the journal. And in this one, um, you can see that um, this, this paper is from Dollar Tree and this ribbon and this ribbon is, um, they are from the Dollar Tree too, as well as um, the sunflowers. Those are from uh, their fall collection. So this is the first page. This here is the second one. And um, I added some uh, cotton thread in there um, just to you know, add texture. And these butterflies are also from uh, the Dollar Tree as well as this tag here. Um, so then we have like more like a light blue page. And um, again, this ribbon and this washi are from the Dollar Store. Um, and all the writing is done with uh, a fountain pen on the old ones um, with this um, with this ink so it takes some time um, but I kind of know how to handle it because I took calligraphy um, during my high my five years of high school in Argentina and then we have this page here um, I love how it turned out with the combination of um, yellow and green. And this is um, this was done with my embossing machine. Uh, and then it was aged with um, some uh, Tim Holtz ink. And uh, I added some tags just in case if she wants to write something in there. And um, so that's that. And then we have another pink page. Um, so in this one, I used this little um, embellishment and it's from the baby section at the dollar store. And then um, I put in there some sticky notes uh, for her to use. Um, this uh, doily uh, served as a pocket and we have a tag there. And um, this is the middle of the book and that's where the elastic goes and she can remove it if she wants to work with the book or write something if she feels more comfortable doing that. And then we have um, this section, I went back to the yellow. This ribbon is from the dollar store and I made these stamps and um, I bought, I recently bought some stamps that they are like um, mailing stamps. Um, so I wanted to try them out. So uh, I made these stamps with dragonflies and uh, some more stickers. And this um, stamp came with this collection here. Then we have uh, this page. Um, again, the sunflowers are from uh, the dollar store as well as um, the ribbon here and I added some more cotton to create more texture and this page is uh, dyed with uh, coffee. Then we go back to a greenish uh, bluish uh, page with some succulents, uh, some stickers of succulents, uh, again from the dollar store, from their succulent collection. And then I created here um, an envelope with um, a little um, card for her to write 
anything that she may want to and we have this tag to here and then we go back again to the blues i think the white doily here really complemented that page i love it and then again another of um the butterflies from the dollar uh, tree collection and this tag is from there too and then on the last page um, i use one of those um, stamps or punters that they create shapes with a tag and then in the back what i did is um, i created a little notepad um, this here is again from the dollar store it came in a package with a lot of cards for journaling and it has space in there to journal and then uh, i made some pages in here for her to use and this is the paper that comes uh, in the packages with amazon prime so um in some pages i created some pockets so like in the first page i opened that envelope and this is a pocket and i added there another card for her to um, write if she needs to or take notes and then um, let me see what I have in here I don't remember all the things that I put oh in this one um, I created a tag and I put this um, this other tag as I said that comes from the dollar store um, in this one um, it's a bookmark and she can paint it you know she wants to paint and let me see what else this one doesn't have anything this one is another tag that goes with the pink and this little tag on top or tab um, again is from the dollar store from their collection of tabs and in this one uh, it is a musical page that goes with the what what uh, it is written here and it's aged with Tim Hall's inks and the last pocket I think it's the last one yes the last pocket is another card uh, with um, some space for her to write and so this is uh, the envelope journal. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can leave them uh, in the comments. Um, if you uh, like this video, like it and subscribe to the channel. We will see each other in the next one. Bye-bye.